Once again, the biggest folk festival in the world, the Oktoberfest, began below the Bavaria. I'll explain how the Oktoberfest came about in a later video, but this video is more about the things you can do and what you can see. So, wonderful good morning everybody. Uh, it's 7 o'clock here, 21st of September, so that's starting off the Oktoberfest and I'm Going now to the Oktoberfest, it's closed now, it's, it opened its gate at 9 and then at 12 there will be the first beer, but I'm not here for the beer, I just want to watch how many people are standing in front of the gates and when I turn around, yes you can see, already a lot of people um, and it's the most crowded, crowded day and um, let's see what, what happens there. And as you can see, a huge queue has already formed. People still had to wait two more hours, but at nine, this happened. But this is just a race to get the best seats in the tents. Beer is a long way off. First, there's the parade of the Oktoberfest landlords and breweries. And this is the man everyone is waiting for, the Munich mayor. He taps the first keg of beer and hands the first glass to the Prime Minister of Bavaria. Before that, no beer is served. And I would have loved to show you the tapping, but as you can imagine, it's extremely difficult to get a place in the shot number 10 on the first day. But you know what might help? A subscription. So subscribe if you like the content on this channel and with a bit luck, I might be able to get a press accreditation for the tent next year. A brief summary for those who want to visit the Oktoberfest next year on the first day. It opens at 9 am, the parade takes place around 11 and at 12 the first barrel is tapped and from then on there is beer. And one last thing, don't confuse the entry of the landlords with a traditional costume parade. The latter one always takes place on the second day of Oktoberfest. But what happens at the Oktoberfest? First of all, the good news is that there's no entrance fee. The bad news is, everything is pretty expensive. To roughly orientate yourself at the Oktoberfest, you can say that there are two main streets. The Eastern Street with the rides and the Western Street with the beer tents. As all beer tents were closed on opening day due to overcrowding, which happens more often, especially at weekends, I only visited the street with the rides. I will post a video of all the beer tents tomorrow when I've made all the filming. At the Oktoberfest there are the usual rides as at all other carnivals. Bumper cars, Hand throwing, labyrinths, ghost trains, and all the other fast and scary things. But I still want to highlight some, and there are a few things that are so special for the Oktoberfest, you'll have to go there. What you see here is the Olympia roller coaster, or Fünfer Looping, because it has five loops. It's an iconic roller coaster at the Oktoberfest, but I want to be an honest guide. The ride is over quickly and you don't notice much of the loops. I prefer the Alpina roller coaster. It doesn't have any loops, but it does have nice curves and turns. The Wilde Maus also guarantees a wide ride. And the first ride I've ever been on as a kid is Rund um den Tegernsee, around the Tegernsee. That's why it has a special place in my heart. Now let's move on to the curiosities. Of course, a motodrome is a must. Here, motorcycles chase each other along steep cliffs. Long live centrifugal force. The flea circus proves that even small things have power. Fun for young and old. 
Finally, here are four must-see attractions when visiting the Oktoberfest. Auf geht's beim Schichtel has been at the Oktoberfest since 1869 with its magic theater. A cabaret performance is an inadequate description of the performance itself. There are magic tricks, jokes and with a bit of luck you will be beheaded by the guillotine. Why luck? Because you can then immediately pour the beer down your throat. The next one is Tobogan. It's a slide on a tower you can slide down on a carpet. But the real special feature is the conveyor belt that transports you to the tower. I filmed the whole thing in the afternoon and most of them climbed the conveyor belt with great elegance. But in the evening, when the alcohol level has risen, you can experience a very German emotion, namely Schadenfreude. Then people fall in rows on the conveyor belt and the audience has a lot to laugh about. However, I would advise you not to use the conveyor belt if you are drunk too. You can also injure yourself. Speaking of Schadenfreude, the Teufelsrad, Devil's Wheel, has been at the Oktoberfest since 1910. The principle is simple. There's a spinning disc in the middle of the tent, spectators are invited to sit on the wheel and the last person to remain seated wins. They try to knock people off the disc with ropes and swinging balls and it's great fun for the audience. I didn't film inside, but there are videos here on YouTube. However, I have the impression that it's mainly about looking under the girls' dresses. I would like to distance myself from that. But apart from that, if you haven't been on the Teufelsrad, you haven't been on the Oktoberfest. Here too, there's a risk of injury. I know some people who have sat on the Teufelsrad and ended up with a sprained ankle or even worse. The last ride I would like to recommend is the Crinoline. It has been around since 1920. The special thing about it is that a band always plays live music. The band also changes from time to time. For example, on September 29th, Girek und die Landlergeschwister, an absolutely Munich cult band from the neo-folk scene, will be playing. And don't underestimate the swaying of the Crinoline. I know people who got sick of it, but maybe it was the beer. And I nearly forgot one ride. The giant ferris wheel. How do you think I got my great aerial shots, though? And of course you can get the same view. Tomorrow I will film the tents and I try to publish the guide on the same day. Please leave a comment if I missed anything. If you're interested in a guided tour through Munich, send me an email. See you in the next video. So maybe tomorrow. <laughs>